this one thing blew our budget more than you can possibly imagine. And I'm talking about a month where we spent a lot of money redecorating my daughter's room. And it wasn't that directly. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. We have gone over the budget in a big way. It's kind of mammoth right now. And it wasn't the redecorating that did it. I mean, the redecorating definitely played a direct role in it, but it wasn't the actual cause. I'm here today to talk about our food budget. So since I am not putting up a budget video this month, I wanted to tell you Relatively speaking, we were right on par with our budget, except for this one little tiny area, which was pretty mammoth. And that was our food budget, and here's why. It's the first half of the month when I'm recording this, and we are already a lot of money in. Eight meals, either in a restaurant or takeout. Eight. I am not even joking. When we were doing Melina's remodel, I didn't have time to cook. And basically every single meal was getting ordered out. We ordered out breakfast, we ordered out lunch, we ordered out dinner at one point or another. We tried not to every meal, but some days, there were a couple of days that we ordered three meals out. So what can I tell you about this? It was piss poor planning. I, I'll just lay it right out there. I did not realize how long we would be working on Melina's room and how tired I would be when it t came time to cook. Or I didn't wanna slow down in the middle of the day to stop and make lunch. I obviously own up to it because that's what I do on this channel. We try very, very hard to stick to our budget as closely as we can, but we know our budget is fluid and we know things come up during the month and we try and ebb and flow with them. We don't make huge sweeping changes to the budget, but we do make changes. But this is ridiculous. $31 at Chipotle, $51 at Silver Diner for breakfast? Who needs a $50 breakfast? Seriously. $27 at Dunkin' Donuts, $16 for a salad at Honeygrow. Okay, there was juice involved. And that was actually a work lunch, had nothing to do with this. Nando's, $52 to eat dinner out. Now here's the one thing I can tell you. If you look at the places we went, we did not go to fancy schmancy restaurants. We went to fast food. It's not like we went to Founding Farmers because if we had gone to Founding Farmers, that would have been like 200 bucks for one meal. And this doesn't even include the meals that I paid cash for because I did pay cash for quite a few. So I can't really tell you why I did this, but I can tell you I didn't meal prep for the last two weeks because I was working on Molino's room nonstop, which by the way, this is a preview of Molino's room. Can't really see it very well, but it's lovely. Mauricio did such an awesome job. Look, 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 ombre wall. So beautiful. This lighting is not doing it justice, but I, I am doing a whole video on it. This is but one of many things that Mauricio did that he is amazing. And that video, I was hoping to get it out this week, but I had nine hours of footage, not even joking. So I'm gonna have to condense that down and then film an overlaying video with it. So it's gonna take a little while. Hopefully I'll get it out next week, but if not, it'll be the week after that. I am already working on it and it's gonna be awesome. And I'm gonna break down the expenses and what we spent and were we on budget, which yes, so there was one other thing that I decided to do. This month, I decided to try plated, and here's why. I knew for two weeks out of the entire month, I wasn't gonna have time to meal prep. I knew that, and we have to be able to cook dinner fast and eat. And so I decided to go ahead and order plated for two weeks. I have it in the budget for four, just in case. But if I don't use it, I'll just switch that over to grocery money. We've been using plated for a full week now and I really like it. It's a little bit 
only slightly pricier than if I made the same meals. But what I love about it is that the meals are all natural. There are no, you know, boxed, processed, whatever things. Everything is all natural. And so it's it's turned out to be an interesting adventure for my family because some of the people in my family are a little bit picky. My mother and I are not picky eaters, but there are other people in my family who shall remain nameless that are lightly picky. Since it's the middle of the month, chances are I've already canceled plated for the third week and probably the fourth week as well. The reason being $120, I can cook some stuff out of the freezer and not spend as much and actually probably make up for the debauchery of the eating out this month. We'll see eating out through our budget into the trash this month. Not even exaggerating. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.